Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Here we are again, another day. Well, life is good because I got a lighter yesterday on the no spend day. The no spend is going pretty good, actually. Okay, so... Um, uh, this morning I planted the garden. Uh, I planted the whole garden already. So what I did is I had seeds from last year. I planted all the seeds I had from last year. I planted all the, the parts of my food, like the celery roots, the lettuce roots, the green onion roots I could, and then I had these. So I have a pretty small spot, so I planted these. So we will just wait until it, something sprouts and uh, then, you know, I will buy a few plants. Uh, some of the plants or some of the seeds I planted uh, were just out of my uh, food, like my bell pepper and my tomato. I ran out of napkins, you guys. This is lowly. This is a paper towel. Well... Actually, at least it's square. So I have some black tea. Last night I had uh, green tea, but green tea makes me nervous because my son swears he's highly allergic to it. And I thought that's all I need is an allergic reaction, but I made some nice uh, black tea, four cups water and two tea bags. And it's not too strong so as to give the insomniac worse insomnia. So black tea, that's delicious. Then I went walking and I lived in my car. You know, I do that. I try to stay out of the house all day long until it's dark. And as a result, I get very little stuff done. <laughs> so, okay, last night, the video cut out in the middle of the video. So I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. And so this is the second salad I made that you guys, you saw it in the thumbnail, but you didn't see it in the video. So I thought that's okay, I'll save it. So this is one reason salads are so great because you can make them and then, you know, here it is. Look, this is a good looking salad. So uh, how I made this, all right, it's uh, frozen corn and frozen peas. I cooked and refrigerated tomatoes, green olives, eggs, and cheese, and lettuce on the bottom. And then uh, yesterday, if you saw the video, hi, baby. The babies like the videos, you guys. Here is some tasty tofu I made. I'm not gonna go into how I made the tofu because I did mention that yesterday. So here it is. Homemade, very easy. All you need is rice, wine, vinegar, and soy milk. So I have a little bit of that on my sal on the side of my salad. It's really easy to make. And then I'm doing this thing. I'm doing this thing. Uh, one sardine a day keeps the doctor away. Okay. We all know we need a means out of fish, but you know, we're not eating that much fish really. I mean, even if we eat a few fish sticks once a week, uh, I heard uh, a long time ago, it was one can sardine, so I can't stand them. But if you buy the good ones, it helps. And if you have good crackers, that helps. Here it is. And then I'm just going to have one sardine. I can handle that. That's not to the point where I'm going to go, okay. To me, they stink. 
and it's really kind of hard to make yourself eat stuff that stinks but if you want to stay healthy and if you stockpile a whole bunch of them like I did uh, just one uh, then you know you can eat I think there was five in this can so they're going to last forever and so now I stink. I gotta I gotta rinse my hands. Otherwise, you know, I can't stand myself. One time uh they came out with this product. It was a hair product and it stunk. It smelled just like sardines. It's great for your hair. Your boyfriend will love it. And I go to the guy and he got so mad at me too. I go, what kind of boyfriend do you think I got? So uh here we have now this could be a meal and it is a meal and then i have some ranch bacon dressing so that'll help tonight i am going to eat this last night i had the other salad all right so let's have a generous amount if i can get outside and exercise like i did today i don't have to be on the miserable diet and if I, if I do the, you guys, I put that uh, exercise video, fabulous 50 exercise video on my Twitter for you guys. So check that out. And I'll have a little soy sauce on my homemade tofu. All right. So that in itself is pretty good. Okay. Now what? Now what? Okay, now yesterday, I tried to tell you, and I couldn't because my video cut out. This is homemade granola with uh, banana chips. You just make granola, and then I had one bag of banana chips, and I crushed that and put it on top of the granola, and the, re and the picture is on the thumbnail from yesterday. So that's what that was. Ow, I just hit myself in the head with a book. This is a great cookbook. Here's the ingredients. Uh, I just used coconut and nuts. So I had three cups nuts to, uh, I three cups nuts, coconut, and um, raisins to three cups oatmeal with a half a cup, I heated a half a cup of honey and a tablespoon of sugar and a cap full of Mexican vanilla and I mix that up. And you know, that was more than enough to coat all the, I don't like my granola really sweet. Sometimes I eat it with yogurt and uh, I like to eat cottage cheese. I like dairy because I know that's gonna protect my bones. So uh, that's the granola. Okay, so now, you know, I bought, okay, this month, let's see, where did I put this? Okay, I bought uh, 10 pounds of potatoes. I think I still got five pounds left. 25 pounds flour, 25 pounds sugar, a milk by the case, and frozen food, the large packages. So I've been making all kinds of stuff out of potatoes. So if you remember me saying, my grandmother said the thing they were short on in the depression was meat and sugar. That's why I bought the sugar last month. It's not too expensive at Smart and Final at this point, but that doesn't mean it's not gonna get that way. So um, if you have stuff, flour, enough, we might be seeing a big fat increase in wheat, but if you can make bread, and if you can make, um, if you have potatoes, I've made tons of stuff out of potatoes and I'm still at it today. So I thought, what am I gonna make now? So I've made soup, I've made fries. Really, it's a good thing to keep in mind if hard times ever hit, uh, or if you just wanna save money. But as soon as I finish this 10 pounds of potatoes, I will buy five pounds because five pounds must last me about a month. The, uh, the 10 pounds is still going strong and I've been eating potatoes every day. So today what I made was these potato rolls because I had this, here's the recipe, it's very easy to make. So I, I made half a batch, thank God I only made half a batch. 
and uh, my idea was to uh, make some pretzels out of bread dough. So I thought today is the day. Here is the, this is a great cookbook. Here is the uh, instructions the way they did it. I used my regular method. Uh, what I did was I cooked the potatoes and then when they were uh, done, I mashed those and I uh, reserved the water and I put about a teaspoon of water, of, um, sugar in the potato water and I added the yeast and I let that rise. Then I had uh, the milk. Uh, I scalded the milk and I put sugar and butter in the milk and the potatoes. And then I added all the wet ingredients and then I added the dry ingredients. And then I made, uh, I had bought a pepperoni at Grocery Outlet. Um, Home Ted, Homestead Tessie Mobile Home Living did a good video. And McDonald's is love bombing me. What does it say? It says, uh, oh, well, you know, it's 24 hours a day. I'm at McDonald's 24 hours a day. <laughs> Come to McDonald's, okay? No problem. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, so at the uh, 90 or at Grocery Outlet, I bought this really cheap. And she was saying she got some uh, salad that was no good. So, um, you know, if you have enough food already, I don't think it's a good strategy to um, buy nearly expired food. But I would if I was really low on money and I didn't have any food. So I bought this dry, uh, what is this stuff? Dry salami at some point. And I had some cheddar cheese. So my idea was to make um, pretzels stuffed with cheese and salami. And it was very, very successful. And they came out huge. This was a half a batch, you guys. So um, what I did is I rolled the dough out. It's in, in the picture on the thumbnail. And I cut it in several sections. And I had defrosted quite a bit. Here's one. So now, after making pretzels several times, these are very delicious. This is uh, a potato roll, rolled out like a pretzel, and stuffed with uh, salami and cheese. So I just rolled it, you know, out in a big circle, and then I covered the circle with, well, not a big circle, and I covered it with salami and cheese, and I rolled it up like a jelly roll, and then I just made a, a pretzel. And then I took um, a medium-sized saucepan, and I got the water boiling, and I put two tablespoons of baking soda. I found I don't like it too much soda, and this one turned out perfect. And then I had, um, I had some of this, um, sea salt and I just sprinkle a little bit on there and I already ate one right out of the oven so I'm not super hungry so it, it turned out really good so I wanted to mention okay so you have your pretzel you've made you let your pretzel rise and then you put it in the um it's not a roaring boil but it's a little boil with the soda and then what I did is I just press it down once and it pops up and you'll see your bread kind of plump out. At that point, I took it in and I put it in the pan and I baked it at 400. So then I also made, there was dough left. So uh, I, I made four potato rolls and this is a cinnamon roll uh, to go with my tea. And uh, all I did is I just spread butter on the bread dough and I um, sprinkled brown sugar a lot and a lot of cinnamon. And here is what happened. I was going to frost it, but I thought, no, nah, it doesn't need frosting. <laughs> you 
yes, I'll be eating that with some tea. Now with my, I had plans for these pretzels and the plan was to heat spaghetti sauce and dip my pepperoni and cheese pretzels in it. But then, you know, it was very filling and I thought it was very unnecessary, especially since I got this humongous salad. So what I think I'm gonna do at this point is just try to consume the salad. So the idea is to start eating more vegetables and have protein food, like there's cheese and there's salami. And you know, I have uh, this granola with uh, milk that I could eat in the middle of the night. So that is, that is, that is more than enough food for, uh, the between the food I made yesterday and the food I made today, it will take me pretty much until dinner tomorrow. So, okay, so that's the cookie. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm preparing for the worst and hoping for the best. So you might go, what are you preparing for? Well, I'm preparing for the next decade, not the next year. I was going to be five years, and I go, oh, no, this is, this is the next 10 years. So uh, last month, I bought potatoes, flour, sugar, and milk, and large packages of... Um, uh, frozen food. I wanted to do total no spin, but my common sense tells me no, just keep stockpiling a little. So this month I will um, stockpile a few cans at a time of uh, meat. So today I bought at Walmart two cans of yellowfin tuna because if I am going to have to eat this stuff, like MREs, meals ready to eat, right out of the can. This is gonna do me a lot better than some cheap tuna. But if you can't afford it, get the cheap tuna. So, um, the other thing is I'm looking for, not the store brand, but the name brand roast beef. Uh, Glenda Sully did a good roast beef uh, video too. Um, so I, I did a roast beef, beef stew. She did like a shepherd's pie and she had a big can and I've seen those big cans and I have always thought now those will be terrible. So I'm looking for those and if I find them, I'm going to buy some. So, um, I'm looking for roast beef and then I'm going to stockpile more water. That's all I'm going to stockpile for the month. Okay, so now for the no spend. So this month, all I'm trying to do is reduce my spending by half. I, it, the last, I'm on day uh, 15. The first 13 days I spent $500. So from now until the middle of next month, I'm just trying to spend $250. So I had two trips to McDonald's yesterday um, no, this is today. I already told you. Oh, no, that was when the video cut out. Ruining my life. When you phone, uh, if you have a lot of photos, that wrecks your storage. And if you have a lot of videos you've been watching and those are stored, that wrecks your video uh, storage. And my phone was warning me. I just didn't take heed. <laughs> that was not smart. Oh, gosh. Uh, those nice tweets are, um, are um, shadow. Okay, so I have starting over, petty crash, $50. $50. Two trips to McDonald's, a fifteen trip dollar trip to Dollar Tree, rubber gloves, two candles, one Sharpie, one lighter, two packages of seeds, which I planted today, one vinegar, one spatula, and two kitchen towels. Then I went to ninety nine cent over only. I bought two large uh, dish cloths, um, half and half, and oh, I bought a package of of cabbage for dollar ninety eight. So that was seven seventy two. And then at 7-Eleven, late at night, I bought two waters, refills, 70 cents, and a Diet Coke. So yesterday I spent $22.50. Then, I 
I'm tearing the pages out, and what is very helpful is you can see where you're spending money. So um, I wouldn't be spending much money at all if I wasn't stockpiling a little. Today, day 14, two trips to McDonald's, a uh, trip to Walmart, bananas, two cans of uh, yellowfin tuna, and one bottle of caffeine-free Diet Coke. That was eight fifty-six. Then I bought one pair of shoes for ten fifty-four. So I'm buying clothes for 10 years. So uh, this year I have destroyed two pair of tennis shoes, two pair of loafers, and two pair of uh, slip-ons. So I'm going through about six pair of shoes a year. So the shoes I got were uh, this style. I like this. I walk around the mall in these. My feet feel good. And I literally destroy them. So it was that time. I destroyed two pair, so six pair of shoes. So if you you figure you need about 60 pair of shoes, you go, well, I can't contain that many shoes. I'm gonna go crazy. Well, if some kind of recession comes along and you don't have a coat and you don't have any shoes. Um, so what I'm trying to do is find for shoes, only one color, brown and purses brown. That's good enough. So, uh, also, I bought these shirts for $2 each, and today I was wearing uh, two of the Walmart shirts that I bought last year for very cheap. So, um, for t-shirts, I probably need at least between four and six of those a year. So, I'm shopping around for those. And, that, and so, um, another thing just to mention to you guys is what I'm doing is... I am not focusing on all the problems. The problems are constant. We've had, let's see, we've had Epstein, which was a problem. We had Ghislaine Maxwell. We had the Corona, which was, you know, forever. And now this conflict. So what I'm doing is when I get home, I shut the door unless I'm being attacked at the front door I don't want to think about it. I don't want it taking over my life. The The corona was different because we had to wear masks. I think part of the reason my skin is so awful, it seems to be right along where this stupid mask is. But I'm not giving up my two masks anytime soon. So uh, that is what I'm doing as far as that goes. I'm expecting the worst, actually. I think we're in for 10 years. That's what I think. And if we save our money and we stockpile up what we need, life is going to be a whole lot better for us, right? Okay, would you like to say hi to the birds? You guys, could you please say hi? Like, could you be really nice and lovable? And could you please say hi to the YouTube? Where is the other one? Oh, there they are. Come on, you guys. Sweetie pie. Come on. Can you have some... He, he would not get near this nest just before I brought him over here. They were both in that. I have another nest. I just have to. It was a huge hassle for me to hook it on. Okay. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.